Frank, people are gonna die. I'm gonna end it. What if Billy kills you? I'm not the one who dies, kid. I'm the one who does the killing. I want to first talk about the connection that you guys have. I feel like it was an instant kind of, at least on screen, that's an instant connection. Did you guys find that? Totally, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I felt the, the second she walked in. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't even when you walked in the audition. We, when we were at the screen test at the last auditions when it was just sort of being whittled down. Uh, auditions are, are crazy to go to when you're, when you're an actor because I've been yeah. on the other side of them so much. And, uh, <laughs> so what I really wanted to do is before anybody came in, I really wanted to go sort of meet them outside and talk to them and offer to read with them. And uh, I just, when I went out, and so, George and I just sat down, we just started bullshitting and, and yeah. t- talking about, I mean, all kinds of different crazy stuff. And we weren't even running the scene. I was like, oh, yeah. you're, you're, you're the one. Like, this, is it. this is it, you know, like, of course. And, uh, and then she came in and just, knock the the, the 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 walls off the room you know it was so awesome so I it, it was great and um, I I know I know her her old man well and and, and we're, we're, we're we're quite close and um, he uh, he and um, George's mom have uh, I'm gonna embarrass her but they've 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 done a wonderful job she is a, an amazing amazing young woman amazing yeah, yeah that's that a compliment that's a good compliment yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know there was definitely like like you said right away there was an instant connection and I've never been in such an inviting environment in an audition because they're terrifying especially when you're dwindling down to the last and you know that you between you and a couple other people maybe and he just came out and it was like I was like yeah I'm really like I'm not sure about this one scene that you know I'm gonna go in and read for everybody and he's like let's do it so we read him back and forth he's like Pfft. he's like no it's fine and so then we just started talking about you know, a bunch of stuff, and I'd never met him before, and we were talking about my dad, and just like, oh, yeah. And, you and guys maybe your mangled finger, right? Like, cause you had oh, yeah. Finger. Oh, yeah, she I had a big, I had a big cast on, yeah. and oh, yeah, no. I had, like, a weird pinky. <laughs> was that <laughs> now, but she was all messed up. It's like, it was all messed up at the time yeah. of the read-through. I had a big cast on, and I was like, I'm not getting this. Look at my thing. It's yeah, like, it awesome. big, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like, <laughs> he's like, what is that? Yeah. Oh, looks like a baseball mitt. It was yeah, crazy. it's crazy. But, yeah, so there was just an instant connection, and then throughout this, the, throughout the season, we just kept going, and yeah. Well, how the, obviously you're changing. This is, this feels like the Punisher to me, mm-hmm. as as opposed to season one it was an introduction to the Punisher. Mm-hmm. This feels like the Punisher. Mm-hmm. Does that feel? Did you, is that? Do you think that's a correct statement? Uh, look, I, I I think that uh, I, I for this to to work, I, I think there also uh, there always has to be a dichotomy. I think there always has to be a push and pull, and I think you have to really. To me, I'm really interested in the dualities of characters, and I think you've really got to pinpoint, you've really got to be specific about the differences between Frank Castle and the Punisher and what the Punisher really is. And, you, you know, if, you, if you're going to be a bear, you got to be a grizzly, you know? If, yeah. if, if, if you're going to if you're gonna go that, that, that far with him, you, you, you've really got to go, but then you've also really got to show what the other side is. And I think this season, I haven't seen it yet, but what I, what I hope is that you really get to see a bit of both. And... and um, uh, I think you see a lot of Frank trying to be Frank in the beginning, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, I think I think for sure I think he uh, consciously and purposely uh, decides to go the route of, of the Punisher and, and push Frank away. Do you feel? I mean, is this something? There's been a lot of talk about where the show is going to go. Sure. Is this the character you want? You, wherever it goes, do you want to continue? I mean, I'm assuming yes. But. Yeah. Look, I I, I mean, you. Uh, I, I, I said before, I, I, it's it's a monumental kind of uh, iconic character. It's a character that means so much to to, to so many people. Um, so for that, you know, uh, any time that, that that I'm called upon to, to to get to play him and to get that honor, it's something uh, I take super seriously. And um, I, I, I've said before, the relationship that the character has with vets and with law enforcement is something that I I, I hold sacred. And uh, so. For me, it's it's. I don't know. I I, I feel like it's been an honor to play him, and uh, whatever happens, whatever happens going forward, I, I'm just grateful for what I've got. I know that sounds political, but it's it's how I it's how I feel. He's got some serious issues. Let me be what I'm meant to be. Be 
need some money. I'll need some money. Not suspicious at all. <laughs>